welcome to Syria Rocket Enemy Rocket Enemies video. We are going to see about. So basically, in this heater mechanism, you can see like two outlets, out and inlets. We have, and this is a container where water stays. So it's actually bottom portion. So we can see the terminals of that red one. That out one is bigger than the in one. I will say why in the later part of this video. And we have wiring. This total case is a plug, outlet plug, and this is again the wires of in and out, nicely cased with insulations. We have some wirings. Inside wirings. These are used to connect to the mechanism or electric device. This one actually. So the functionality and the working of this is actually these are two detectors. This will be sent in cases, which I will explain. This detector will be going inside. This will be going inside that other case, which I will be showing in the diagram, which will be closed completely, and this will be connected with the circuit. All those wires will be connected actually, and these are thermostat wires. And we have two detectors for them. Uh, the first one, and these are the thermostats. One, the first one, and the second. This is the second one, backup thermostat. Uh, like 95 degrees something, it will have some shift safety measure. And suppose this one, the first one, has some 50 degrees. So the temperature should be matched actually with the water temperature. The functionality will be explained. This is a regulator actually the temperature how much temperature we need to adjust as per 55 or something example detectors for two thermostats to start off uh, as you can see from the first picture the top view is that one and the bottom view is this and we do have in outlet and out outlets uh, basically pipes and in this diagram big diagram as you can see we have in terminal and we have some dots that is actually sprinkler so the water will be drawing and it will be passing from this in pipe and from that sprinkler the water will be leaking and once this container inner part will be filled with water the heating element will do its job it will heat the water inside it and it is separated with the sponge or some insulating material actually it's just separated from the outer container as you can see the dash lines so that the vacuum is present inside the heat will not be dissipated outside it is actually absorbed inwards inside itself and once the water gets heated this out terminal which is taller than this in pipe will be receiving that water so that the terminal upwards is actually open while in this in terminal the pipe it's closed it will receive the water and the water will be slowly deposited like uh, transited from this pipe to outlet so that we will getting hot water so there is a basic principle of heating and again in this one the heating element as you can see in the bottom picture the conducting wire like high resistive wire will be passed in between this two elements that the cross section is given in this one actually these are filled with some fillings inner and outer has been mentioned and high resistive wire is passed in this side uh, pictorial representation aerial cross section I have just given and so aerial cross section has been given so what happens now when uh, it should it should not be shortened with that uh, side compartment like side areas of that tube started with that side tubes that's why some fillings will be provided if it uh, touches that side tube shortened shortened anything damage of that appliance because spark can come so it can damage your appliance and uh, and basically the height of that uh, out uh, tube is bigger given bigger because actually the sand particles sand fillings everything the dust whatever it's collected from in tube will be settled down and hot water density is less so it will float up upwards like in the top of that container so that hot water will be received and first it will be passed and the, later the cold water will be getting hotter and then it will be passed so basically that purpose for that purpose actually the hot terminal tube is bigger in size than in one so again this is bottom portion the bottom one you can be see, uh, the orientation can be seen from the above picture top bottom in pipe out pipe and this will be passed the, the, the sensor detects the temperature 
of that water how te- how much temperature the water got heated that temperature it will be sensing and it will pass to that circuit as connected so and that now we have this as you can see small one like it's like a uh, again it's closed actually a tube and we pass two sensors which are shown in the video condition. actually thermostat what's the principle is like so we have temperature inside that uh, container and we will be setting some temperature so if that two matches it will switch off that so that the in uh, outlet whatever the electricity we are drawing it will be switched off so that the ni- the wire will not be heated further so that it just uh, saves you from any appliance damage or anything like that and again if the temperature it doesn't cut off some problem has came so we should have the fall off other thing so that in fall off what happens is like uh, we will be setting some temperature 95 degrees say for primary purpose we are just using some so once crossing that 95 degrees barrier it will act like it will act as thermostat so whenever the uh, heating element like container water container uh, temperature is matching with 95 if both the temperature matches it cut off the supply so that the uh, electric outlet supply will be stopped and it will re- start uh, stop receiving the electric supply from outlet so as basically if the electricity is passed to that wire uh, it gets heat and it, again it's high resistance wire so we should use that high resistance wire so that it will not be break easily so it will be heated and the water is surrounded with that he- wire actually the heating element is dipped in that water so the water will be heated and that detector or sensor tube is present in that and is surrounded with water so it senses the water temperature and pass to the thermostats and we are having two thermostats and again this is one type of heating and in normal heaters like this which is which are instantaneous it, we don't have this facility of thermostats so we can't dip, rely on it so we should not overheat it if we over it it can damage the appliance and again surroundings too this kind of methods like safety precautions so safety barrier should be set in second or backup fall of thermostats for safety purpose of the appliance and surroundings okay safety with the thermostats uh, whereas normal instantaneous heaters we don't have which uh, they just heat the water actually but in this we are using two thermostats to support the safety switching off and off as per the temperature all those thing and these application can be expanded for further uh, like we can use the two uh, we can use thermal conductivity rods different thermal conductivity rods like logic gates where thermal thermal conductivity coefficient will be different and other thermal conductivity coefficient will be different so if they both match they conducts or they pass on the uh, heat if they don't conducts they will not uh, pass on the heat or they switch off the connection so various application can be drawn based on this actually i am talk we can talk uh, like for electrodes the thermal conductivity so these are uh, some of the parts of the heating electrical heater and the components and the various applications uh, of the appliance of heating element and electrical heater so nowadays the technology has been upgraded like vapor technology in mobiles and liquid cooling technology in cpus so these are but the fundamental remains same these are the some fundamentals of heating element and electric heater so that's it from now that's a whole some video it sums up wraps up everything so let's focus here in the next video until then signing off see you